Well, today was another busy day, signing bills and orders and all that stuff, but I'm glad it's all over. I can finally go home, relax, put my feet up, and maybe have a piece of cake. Mmm, cake. Excuse me, excuse me, Mayor, I need to speak with you, and it's urgent. Okay, listen, I'm, uh, I was just about to step out of the office, but, uh, sure, wh what's going on? I don't care about that. My problems are important, and you need to listen to them right now. Uh, okay, sure, sure thing. You seem a little distraught. H how can I help you, citizen? Look, the grass is too green here in Brookhaven. The people are too nice, and the water tastes too much like water, and I have had enough of it. Wait, wait a second. You're... You're that Karen lady, aren't you? You've been running around destroying Brookhaven all last week. You have any idea how difficult it was putting out those fires you started? Look, I did this town a favor by setting it on fire. It was awful. It looked too happy and too town-like. We needed something better. Well, listen, ma'am, I'll put your complaints in the complaint box over on my desk, and I'll get to it in due time, okay? So you're not going to do anything about it right this minute? Ma'am, I'm the mayor of Brookhaven. I'm very, very busy. Look, I don't care if you're the mayor, the president, or an alien from outer space. I'd have a problem, and you need to fix it now, or else I'll call your manager. Ma'am, I'm the mayor, okay? I, I don't have a manager. Well, you should, because you're awful at your job. You are unfit for this. I think you should quit. We don't need you in Brookhaven. I'm in charge now. So you're just kicking me out of my own office? Oh, you better believe it. Karen gets what Karen wants. You can't do this. This is, this is outrageous. Look, Mr. Mayor, I have connections with higher-ups, and I am going to get you fired. Oh man, I can't believe Karen kidnapped me again. This is awful, how does this keep happening to me, man? It's not even like she has anything cool to do in this house, it's so boring. I gotta find a way to get out of here, man. I don't even think she's home. I mean, she's not home right now and she doesn't have anybody watching me. I might as well just get out of here and leave. Man, Karen must think I'm so stupid, huh? Whatever, dude, it's cool. I'm just excited to go see my friends. I hope they didn't forget about me. It's kind of weird that they haven't even tried to come save me. Penguin, what are you doing out here? Uh, yeah, I was just, uh... Uh, Madam Mayor, it seems as though this penguin was escaping. Oh, no, no, no. Not under my watch. Well, hold on a second. He just called you a mayor? Are you the mayor of Brookhaven now? Yeah, I'm the mayor of Brookhaven. Oh, gosh, this is not good. So there's no way you are ever escaping me now. I order you as mayor to get back in that house right this Instant. That's right, little penguin man. That's an order from the mayor of Brookhaven, so you better listen. All right, fine, whatever, but you guys got to know that my friends are going to come save me. They're not going to put up with this. <laughs> oh, little penguin, you are hilarious. I would love to see them try. Hey, hi, how are you? Oh, my dear friend, how's it going? How's it going? Ugh, it's you again. Uh, what's wrong with you? You sound different. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. I am now the mayor of Brookhaven. So I'm a whole new woman and I've got power and you need to be careful with how you speak to me. Listen, lady, okay? I speak to people how I want, okay? It's kind of like my whole thing. And if you don't know, like, I've got a lean cuisine in the microwave right now, so, like, what do you want? What do I want? First things first, you need to address me as Mayor Karen. And second of all, I have a little idea for you, my dear friend Finkleberry. Oh, boy, this should be good. Okay, uh, Mayor Karen, what can I help you with? Ugh, God, I hate saying that. So I've been thinking, right? And how about you become my new advisor here? Yeah, listen, lady, okay? I have been without a job for, like, a couple weeks now, okay? It's been great. <laughs> I love not working, so, like, why would I work for you? Well... Pretty soon you're gonna run out of money for all those lean cuisines you eat. And also, one of the perks of my advisor job is you get all of the free ice cream you could ever dream of. And I know, 
got a sweet <gasps> Free ice cream? Oh my gosh. That's one of my most favorite things ever. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Whatever. Just as long as I don't have to do too much stuff. Oh, oh, and can I yell at people and make them cry? Well, of course. That's why I got my job. I love yelling at people and telling them what to do. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'll totally do it. Sounds fun. You, officer, the worst officer of all. What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, you that Karam lady. Oh my gosh, what is you doing here in the Palm Leaf stations? I am here on very important business. Okay, listen, that's great. Is you gonna put yourself in jail, y'all? Because I'm still trying to put you under arrest. No, I'm not going to jail. In fact, I am now the mayor of Brookhaven. And guess what? You're fired! Um, say what now? What you talking about? I can't believe you could be that stupid. You are fired. You have no job. You need to get out of here. I am done with you. Get out of my face. But if I'm not here being the Palm Lease Ossifums, who's going to run the Palm Lease Stations? Well, my dear friend, Officer Finkelberry, of course. What? That man, wow. He don't understand how to be a Palm Lease Officer. He's also a criminal. Listen here, Two Teeth. And I've got more news for you. He is not only a police officer, he is the chief of police and my right-hand man, my advisor. Oh my goodness, that's not right. You two criminals is in charge of Brookhaven now. Someone's gonna stop you and it might be me or it might be someone else, but it also might be me, y'all. This ain't right. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be you. Now get out of my sight, you weirdo. Oh my goodness, also for Rufus be fired, y'all. No, boo hoo, y'all, boo hoo. My goodness, I'm so excited for Brittany to come back to Brookhaven. She's been on vacation for so long with Bree, and they forgot to invite me and Preston. It's been such a bummer. But you know what's been making me super happy? Everybody that's bought the Shame Plays plushie. If you haven't bought one of these, make sure you do. They're almost sold out. All right, well, I gotta get the house ready if Brittany's gonna come home. Maybe I should make her some dinner or something. She's probably gonna be hungry after her flight. Yeah, well, I'm kinda hungry now, Bojo. What do you got to eat? <laughs> Farberry, get out of my house, and Karen, what are you doing here? Oh, hello, Shane. You see, I need to tell you something, and it's exciting. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so good, it's so good. I, I need to almost take a picture of your reaction. It's gonna be that good. <laughs> what are you even talking about, Farberry? Look here, dude. I bought your house, and now you're homeless, so get out of my house. Dude, you can't just buy my house. I own this house. Oh, no, you see, of of course I can buy your house, because I am the mayor of Brookhaven, and he's the police chief, so uh, yeah, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, idiot. Gosh, you're stupid. <laughs> Listen, this Karen mayor lady totally just bought your house. You're homeless and poor now, boo-hoo, and I'm here to escort you off the premises. Bigleberry, I told you, it's Mayor Karen, not Karen. All right, sorry, gosh, Mayor Karen. All right, there you go. I can't believe the two worst people in the world are working together. This is literally my nightmare. Well, it doesn't matter what you have to say. Pack your bags and get out of my house. Yeah, get out of here, homeless, before I throw you in jail. I am just so excited to be back in Brookhaven. And also, I'm so excited for my own star code, Brittany, which, if you're not gonna use your Shane star code, you should probably use mine. But anyway, oh, it's just so nice to be back here. Oh, no, 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 no. Not gonna happen. Hello there, uh, how's it going? Can I help you? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. you can just hop on a plane and get back out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Um, I'm sorry, but who are you? And why do I have to leave? Look, there can only be one blonde in Brookhaven and it's me. And I'm your mayor, Karen. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you, Karen. Wait a minute. Are you the Karen that Shane was telling me about? Yeah, probably. I'm the most famous Karen of them all. And look, there can only be one blonde here in Brookhaven, like I said, so you gotta get back on that plane and get lost. What is going on here? I can't believe it. I just got back and I'm already being kicked out. No. Please, uh, ma'am, can I stay? <laughs> no, 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 you 
absolutely cannot stay. My hair is way prettier than yours, so go away, ugly. You're one mean lady. Dude, this has to be what the real mayor of Brookhaven ran off to. This place is awesome too, by the way. You know what's the best part about this mayor is they use a star code shame plays. And I know a bunch of other people have been using it too. And you're my favorite people in the world. Thank you so much. Anyway, I gotta go meet this mayor. Hey, dude, it's me, Shane. I know we haven't met, but hi. No, oh, Shane. No, no, I know all about you. Yes, no, what, what's, what's going on? What are you doing in my house? Look, dude, things are not good, okay? Why would you just leave the entire city to Karen? Have you ever met that woman? She's absolutely out of control. There is no way I could continue talking to her, so uh, I, I just left. Yeah, dude, and now she's kicking people out of the city left and right. She's destroying everything. It was your job. The people elected you to take care of us, and you just gave the city to Karen? My goodness, man. I tell you what, I'm not voting for you again. No, no, please, listen, listen, understand, okay? She's a very scary woman, and she's got high connections, okay? You have any idea how many managers she knows? So you're not gonna help us? Uh, I'll think about it, all right? Yeah, I'll think about it. Well, the mayor was useless, Officer Rufus, so as usual, me and you gotta take care of this ourselves. Shames, I'm starting to get tired of doing all the heroic stuff, Shames, okay? Yeah, I am too, Officer Rufus. I mean, my goodness, can I ever have a day off? I like to do things too. I know, right? I mean, when's the last time I had the burrito? Like 10 minutes ago. That's a, such a long time. Exactly, Officer Rufus. Well, look, this is Karen's house, okay? We got to go inside. Rudy's probably in there freaking out right now. Oh my goodness, yes. We got to go save our little friend Rudums. Let's go, Shimes. Rudy! Oh, hey guys, what's up, man? Uh, we're here to save you, dude. Yeah, dude, no, this is awesome, man. It's like perfect timing, because like Finkleberry was supposed to come over here, but like, yo, man, he's so lazy, dude, didn't even show up. That is so typical of that Finkleberry, y'all. Yeah, exactly, man. He's just showing who he is. He's just being him, and you know, that's fine, man. Yeah, well, you know, it's not fine, dude, is you're stuck in this Karen's house. Can we get you out of here, please? Yeah, I guess, man. I was about to watch the TV, but I guess if you want to, you know make me leave well do you want to stay here with karen no 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 you're right you're right i'm out of here jeez man i thought that you'd be happy about this i am happy dude all right jeez let's go skateboarding look here you need to pay for this you not having my ice cream flavor in stock at all times is an absolute crime here in my city. Ugh, you're the worst ice cream store employee that could ever exist, and I've seen the worst of them. Trust me. Oh, uh, please, Madam Mayor, please stop yelling at me. I only work here part-time. I'm not even the manager here. I don't need to hear your sad story. I need you to get out of my face. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so mean! <laughs> Go get your manager, you little crybaby. Oh, nice! You're making all the citizens of Brookhaven cry. Oh, I love doing that. Hi, Mayor Karen lady. Hi. Finkleberry. Aw, oh, how are you? And most importantly, how is my favorite Fluffy Wumpkins doing? Your what? Fluffy Wumpkins? Did I stutter? Rudy, the penguin. That's who I'm talking about. You know, the one that you're supposed to be watching over? Oh, yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Yeah, I don't know how he's doing, honestly, because, like, I wasn't listening, so I haven't been watching him. What? Are you kidding me? You are a complete idiot! I told you to watch over him! He's the most precious thing in my life! How could you do this to me? Uh, this is me we're talking about here, okay? How many times do I have to tell people? I do my own thing. Look, I, I, I've had enough of you. You're fired, you're fired. Get out of my face, you are fired, you idiot! What? No, you can't fire me. I'm the police chief, I'm the advisor. I'm like your right hand man. You can't just throw me to the wind, lady. No, you are now the town idiot. Now get out of my face. I want to see you never again. Town idiot? Honestly, kind of accurate. Okay, whatever. You know what? I've had it up to here with your attitude. Bye, weird crazy lady. Okay, bye. Ah, well, I'm kind 
kind of glad things have been put somewhat in order here in Brookhaven. But I crave more power. And I miss my fluffy pumpkins. I hope he comes back. I can't believe he escaped. That stupid fickleberry. Good for nothing. I should have never trusted a man who eats so many lean cuisines. My next mission, to gain all the power in the world. <laughs> all right, Karen, enough is enough. The jig is up. Excuse me? You can't speak to me that way. I'm Mayor Karen. You can say that all you want, but we all know the truth. You took this job illegally, and honestly, I've been doing some research on you, and you don't know any higher-ups in government. What? Yes, I do. Don't say I don't. How dare you say I don't know people? I know everybody. And everybody knows me. Ma'am, I've made some phone calls, and you are right. Everybody knows you, but they know you as the crazy lady that does nothing but complain all day long. I after all I've done for this town and for humanity, to be known as the complainer, no, nope, I won't have it. Well, you don't really have an option, because you see now you're facing charges and you're going to prison. Guard, arrest this woman and take her into custody. All right, lady, you're coming with me. Nope, I don't think so. You haven't seen the last of me yet. <laughs> there will be chaos before order. Just you wait. I'll be back. Run, she, she's making a run for it. Quickly, catch her! <laughs> <laughs>